Ladies and gentlemen, how about a round of applause for Stella Hassan? making me nervous again. Because I speak all the time, but for some reason right now, probably because you guys are on stage, I'm really nervous to speak. Um, but anyway, as you... Would you feel more comfortable coming up here and jumping to Yay! Most of you are probably aware uh, that my husband, Julian, is on... He's in a very precarious position right now. The High Court, England, has made the completely uh, inexplicable decision um, to not even allow him to appeal to the High Court. Uh, he made a, an application to appeal in September last year, and it took a single judge ten months to issue a three-page decision, which, uh, without engaging in any of the arguments, said that Julian is not allowed to appeal. He still has one final opportunity to go to two different High Court judges, but the situation is now critical. And you might say, well, this is different to the censorship industrial complex, but it's not. These are two sides of the same coin. Whereas all of you have experienced um, and seen the censorship that occurs on social media, this kind of unseen effect kind of turns you a bit paranoid. Am I paranoid? Uh, is it really happening? Um, we now know, thanks to you guys, that <laughs> Um, we have the evidence that it was happening, and it is happening, and how it's happening. But in Julian's case, this is the overt uh, side of censorship. Uh, this is a publisher, someone who received information from a source, Chelsea Manning, who was a US soldier in Iraq, posted in Iraq, an intelligence analyst who witnessed, who was reading reports showing information about civilian killings, and there are tens of thousands of civilian killings in Iraq and Afghanistan, evidence of, a, of war crimes, including uh, a video that was released, uh, Collateral Murder, 2010, showing how a helicopter gunship uh, mowed down civilians literally picking them off, including two journalists, and uh, critically injured two children, and mowed down the rescue vehicle who came to try to bring one of the dying journalists to a hospital and kill them all as well, except the two children survived because their father threw his body on top of them. They were severely injured, but they survived collateral murder. It's uh, age-restricted on YouTube because it might hurt your sensibilities to witness a war crime. Well, Julian and WikiLeaks put that into the public domain, and the record of tens of thousands of civilian killings in Iraq and Afghanistan, and evidence of torture, and evidence of how the US government was using its embassies to inhibit and derail uh, the investigations in Germany, in Spain, and Italy of CIA renditions to stop the people who were responsible for being brought to trial, for having their day in court, because it is an enforcement of impunity. And the case against Julian is of impunity against accountability. And the fact is that Julian is in prison because he published the truth. Because he um, exposed the criminality of the country that is trying to extradite him. And that country also plotted to assassinate him 
when Pompeo was head of the CIA. How can this country, the UK, possibly extradite him to the United States? The country that plotted his assassination, the country that he exposed committing war crimes for whom no one has been held accountable. There has been a campaign of smearing uh, Julian for years in order to pave the way to his incarceration. Julian is a symbol, he's a deterrent, he's a, a message to every journalist to not publish the truth, to not publish the truth if it angers sufficiently powerful people, because they'll come after you. That is the message, but that's also the message to all of you. That's the, the general message that has been sent out, and we have to push back. We have to regain our rights. It's not something about going back to, you know, like hoping for a, a pre-COVID war or a pre-war on terror lot of existence. We have to fight back. We have to organize, because the other side is organized and they're abusing uh, legislation. They're abusing the complacency of the public in order to get their way. Please follow Julian's case. Like, get engaged, it's critical now. We're at the end game. He could be extradited. He's facing 170 years, 175 years in the US under the Espionage Act. There's no public interest defense. He can't say why he published what he published. He can't say that it was war crimes, that the US government was responsible, etc. He has no defense. Defense, the last defense, is decent people around the world, here in the United States, defending the truth. On a Saturday, there's a concrete thing you can do, which is to come here at one o'clock. There's going to be a statue here in Parliament Square. Um, of Edward Snowden, uh, Chelsea Manning, and Julian, and there is an empty chair uh, next to them. They're standing on chairs, these statues, and there's an empty chair. It's called Anything to Say. You can stand up and say whatever you need to say. We all need to speak out. We need to use our speech, because our speech is the only thing that can shape the world we live in.